went to Sephora yesterday. I spent a lot of money there. But I have some new things to show you, and I have some old things to show you, but I just wanted to let you into what I was doing today. So we're going to get started. The uh, Smashbox Primer, Photo Finish Primer, it has moisturizer in, in it as well, which I'm really excited. It's kind of a milky, but oh my goodness, it feels really good. Um, a little goes a long way for this, it feels like. One of these days I am going to clean my beauty blender. I'm just, I use it every day, so. But we're gonna go in with the Infallible uh, Pro Glow. Creamy Natural, that is my shade. So, um, I actually don't apply it. I used to apply it directly on the beauty blender, but I just go right on my hand now. And then you always want a damp beauty blender. If you don't use a damp beauty blender, your makeup is going nowhere. So you can already tell a difference. I mean, yeah, my blotches are going to show up, which is fine because it looks more natural if you do it that way. Um, and my my makeup is not looking baked like it used to, which is really nice. I found out that the poor professional was actually really thick and it actually did not do anything for my face, which I didn't like. So I got rid of it and I'm trying to smash box now because I talked to a girl at Sephora again. I bug everybody at Sephora. That's their job. That's why they're there. I love the girls there. They know exactly what they're talking about. Abuse them. That is why they are there. Don't forget your neck when you're doing your foundation. And don't forget your ears because your ears are a part of your face. Make sure that's all in there. I like to wait a couple minutes or add more um but i just like to make sure my foundation is dry before i apply anything else because if you apply it on wet it's not going to do anything it's just going to look more baked and it's going to give you fine lines where you don't have fine lines and nobody needs that in their life nobody needs fine lines because let's be honest fine lines are dumb they're dumb okay so now that our foundation is dry um we're gonna go in shape tape now and this is the double duty beauty the double duty the double duty beauty say that five times fast so i just go in and a lot of it comes out because this applicator is huge so i just go in and i scrape it off right away because i don't need all of that right away because less is more in the beginning so i just go in and i Add more if you need to because it's better to start off slow than putting it all on there and you have no idea what you're doing with it. So I'd rather be more cautious than just load it on. Getting the eyelid as well creates that base for your eyeshadow. So you don't need to start off with a base if you don't want to. Um, you can do whatever you want, but starting with the brim on the nose, if you start that off, contouring your nose is going to be so much easier. Look awake. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty, and this is the Pound Cake Loose Baking Powder and Setting Powder. So it's brand new, obviously. We're just going to, okay, hello. <laughs> And it smells like cake. So take the beauty blender and I just go in like this. And it's gonna get on there. And you take it and you put it right there. So your makeup isn't moving at all. Which is what we want. So we're gonna put that there. All right. So now that we look like we dunked our faces in cocaine, super nice. So at this time, we're going to let our face bake, as they call it, as I have all of this stuff all over me. This is when I go in because I want to give it time to set. I want to give it time to just soak in and get everything situated. And I will go in and do my brows. I already have very thick brows to begin with. And I actually, I bought a thicker brow pencil. 
So I bought this one, and it's got a very thick applicator, and I didn't actually like it. I like my really thin one because I can get precise lines. I can create fake uh, hair where there isn't hair. Um, it's easier for me to go in and create a fake brow. Now that our brows are done, uh, my whole thing is brows are sisters, not twins. They do not need to look the same. If you don't care, I don't care. Anyway, so we're going to go in with a big fluffy brush, my Estee Lauder brush. It's the 3F powder brush. It looks like that. And you're just going to wipe off the excess. And I can already tell that I appreciate this powder so much more than my Airspun Cody because when I would put that on, it would create fine lines where there wasn't. With this, there is no fine lines. It's it's just, it's there. Next thing we are going to do is grab our Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. This is the light to medium. Go in with our angled brush. Um, this is a 6 plus. I have no idea where I got this brush. With this middle uh, shade because this is a gray tone and gray tones are more shadows and you don't, like you don't want to go in with this tone because this is more of uh, a bronzer. So you go in like that and you just Tap off the excess because nobody needs that in their life. And then you just start at the hairline and you bring it down. And I go till about right here because that's what's that's natural for my face because I don't really have high cheekbones. So I am creating my own. And then beginning of the ear and I go down. And I really contour out right there. So it makes my jawline so much more defined. So our face contouring is done. I'm going to do my nose now. And that I do with this brush. Um, this is a Bobbi Brown brush. It's very thin. That's what I like about it. Uh, shade that I used for our face. And then I go in with my big mirror and I just... Line my nose. This is me saving money on not getting a nose job. So if you don't like your nose, create a new one. So this is just creating a shadow where there naturally is not a shadow, but it makes your nose look pinched. Next we're going to go in with our bronzer, which is Rimmel London, which is natural bronzer. Um, and this is in the shade... 20 Sunshine. We've used this one before. And then we're going to go in with our Master Chrome. I really like this stuff. It's really pigmented. Um, it's very shiny. So you want to highlight your nose just to make it more seem like that it's snatched. Your nose is very snatched. And then I go in with my big fluffy brush that I has no name. And I just go in right on top of your contour. I'm so excited about this palette. Anastasia Beverly Hills as this palette is called Subculture. I don't know how old it is, um, but it is new to me, so I'm excited about it. I got this at TJ Maxx for $25, which for Anastasia Beverly Hills is really good because she is super high-end. Um, and oh my lord, it comes with this little brush. But oh my gosh, you guys, look at those colors. Like, I just want to dunk into all of those colors and like they just look so good um i definitely am in love with this shiny one just because oh my gosh so much glitter and then there's also this green blue shiny one that i love as well so the first thing i do when i find a palette that i love is i take that mirror protection off and i throw it away because nobody needs that in their life and the first color that I'm going to go into is Dawn, and I'm going to use that as a base, and we already got the mirror dirty. And it's very loose powder, so that's one thing to notice. So I'm just using this as a base, so I'm putting it all over my lid. I'm not using it on my highbrow because I think I'm going to go in with cube and use that for my highlighter for my brow. Okay, we'll see if that angle works better, but I went in with the Roxy, which is this guy right here, 
And these are very loose powders, like it's kind of getting everywhere, but that's okay. Um, I'm not gonna complain. But, so I'm just going in with Roxy on the outer corners and putting her right there. And then I'm going in with my blender brush, circular motions. The further out that you hold your brush, the less pressure it's gonna have on your eyelid. I'm gonna go in with a dorn right here and you can see how like loose that is. Like you can already see the powder coming apart. But, or no, that's All Star. I don't even know what I called that. Whatever. But so we're gonna go in with the crease and just kind of deepen that and then go in. I like to blend these out right away because they are very pigmented, which is fine. But I just like to make sure there is no harsh lines. And you can do the windshield wiper motion. It just, it deepens your eyelid. So there's that before it's blended. And then after. And then I'm gonna go in with this, that's Adorn. That's the one I've been focused on this entire time. I'm gonna go in with this crease brush right here. And this is going right on the lid. And then I'm going to take this bigger brush and this is Luxie 140 Detailed Taper Blender. I never use brushes for what they're actually meant for. I always change palettes. I swear to God, it's not my fault. It's just, I can't. Uh, we're gonna go in with the uh, Too Faced Life's a Festival. I love this palette. I think it is bomb.com because of how pigmented everything is, how bright and shiny and sparkly everything is. I'm gonna go in with Euphoric. You know how much I love that one. And I'm just gonna take this brush and I'm gonna go at it with an angle. You can see how pigmented it is. It's amazing. Just tap that off because we don't need all that excess. And then we're going to go in with the inner corner and just tap that in there. And then bring it around. Anyway, so we're going to go in back into the subculture and we're going to go in, we go into this color. And we're gonna take this very clean Mary Kay brush that I have. It's a little, that's super pigmented too. We're gonna go in. Okay, there is fallout, I lied. Now that I'm looking closer, there is fallout. But we're gonna go in with this and we're gonna bring it down to the bottom. We're gonna go in like that, and it's gonna create that winged look. We're gonna go in with our blender, and we're just gonna smudge that out. So it creates that lined, winged line look. And there you go. We're going to go in with the first brush that we used for our base. Um, we're going to go into Cube, which is this guy right here, and we're going to use it right below the brows. So it gets that highlighter effect. Oh, it's got a pink tint to it, hmm. which is okay. Boom. We're gonna go in with our Pencil Perfect Carbon from L'Oreal Paris. And we're gonna do our under eye. And we're gonna go in with our trusty Kat Von D dagger, which I love. I will never, ever, ever, ever use another eyeliner unless she comes out with something better, but I like her products because she is vegan, she's cruelty free. Me and her, we're gonna do dramatic tonight, apparently, because my hand slipped. So, hopefully we can match that. 
Hey, they look similar. Wow, I'm proud of myself. But now it's the trick to get them like the same freaking. I should just use tape. <gasps> so far, so good. You guys, I think we have matching. I think this is the first time ever I've had matching eyeliner and I didn't even use tape and I'm proud of myself. So boom, go me. Proud of me today. We're just gonna go in with our collab and do the first coat. I got the, this at Sephora yesterday. It is the Better Than Sex waterproof makeup. We'll see how that goes. And I really like that it's waterproof because I'm working a wedding tonight and I've been crying at some speeches, which is not cool. As always, going in with the Thrive Cosmetics and doing that. So I just used my K Voss uh, Mac Mac Macaroon Lip Balm, which is 100% vegan, 100% organic, 100% cruelty free. I love it. K Voss, you have my vote. Yes, please. Put on my Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink, which I actually can put on for the first time ever. So this is like the only thing that's working for me right now, but with patience, I can get it. So I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay All Night, All Nighter Setting Spray. Um, this works for 16 hours, apparently. I'm not, I don't know who needs 16 hours for makeup, but you know, that's not the life I live, but we're going to go in and spray it a couple times just for safe measure. And this is Too Faced Lip Injection Glossy. It gives you that false Botox feeling, which is always so nice. We're obviously going to do something with this mess and I have to put clothes on and, but that is the look for the day. Uh, my eyes look really good, I think, in my opinion. Um, this is the look. I'm going to do my hair. Um, and then I'm going to get dressed. And then I'm going to go to work. If you enjoyed this, please leave a comment. Or um, you can follow all of my other websites. And I won't be mad if you do. I won't call you a stalker. I will appreciate you so much. You have feedback from me. You can either private message me, uh, which some girls have been doing, and it's actually really helpful. I don't mind being critiqued. That's what this is all about. Um, I'm not afraid of feedback anymore like I was when I first began this. Um, and I'm really excited because now I finally have an editor that's working, and I can make these videos with talking, and they're not an hour long, and I don't have to put five of them in there. If you like today's video, you can see other ones. Um, through Facebook or Instagram. So, happy with it. Love you, bitches.